the real risk of eating too much fish is heart attacks compared to fish oil. oil quota, not, I mean, to some extent. the only time it, it does is when I just don't have any fish oil on me and I can't buy any. That, uh, okay, that so I better just, to eat salmon than not have fish oil at all, but if you have fish oil supplement, use that instead. Yeah, but, but yeah, that I eat cheap. What, one of the problems in the supplement industry is that you get the cost of manufacturing down much lower when you manufacture large quantities. Mm. So some companies will manufacture huge amounts at once and then they'll sit for years. True or false, is eating fish better than taking a fish oil supplements for all the benefits of fish oil? Because we're here in Thailand and there's a lot of salmon and I love eating salmon, I love eating sushi, and I don't take my fish oil supplements on days that I eat a lot of salmon. Uh, a lot of people think that it's better to just give everything naturally from foods, like eating fish instead of taking a supplement, but that's not always true. What is it with fish oil? Fish better or so, fish oil? This is a great question, Tony. First of all, I wanted to say that if you're not taking your fish oil supplement, which keep in mind, fish oil supplements reduce the rates of, uh, of uh, heart attacks among people who've already had heart attacks by 25% in four years. But to do this, they require four grams of EPA a day. You cannot get that from fish. That's a pharmacologic mm -hmm. dose. So if you want the heart disease protection that you're looking for, you need to supplement with high dose fish oil. The original studies on fish oil used 15 grams to 30 grams of fish oil which is a lot of fish oil. You cannot get that from just eating fish, first of all. Second of all, I wanted to point out that fish... Well, well also, their salmon is has a lot of fish oil. Not nearly... But not other, those other fish doesn't have almost oh, any true. fish oil, like white fish. True, true. Yeah. But also, salmon doesn't have this, this level. We're talking about grams of oil. Mm. So, that's one thing. The second thing is, some people think that the oil from the fish, when you eat it directly in the fish, is somehow better than the fish oil that's extracted. This is not true at all. There is no advantage of eating fish over fish oil whatsoever. Nothing. There's no advantage. Why would I say that? You're eating protein. Unless, I mean, you have a very low protein diet, you don't need to eat more protein every time you eat the fish oil. To get enough fish oil that you want, you'd have to eat so much protein of the fish. Um, but more importantly, also, there's mercury in the fish. I wanted to point out that some people have also misunderstanding about mercury. They think that with mercury, the risk is you get mercury poisoning and, like, die. And not many people seem to, that, ha that doesn't seem to happen to very many people. So we think that it's not a very big risk. No, it is a huge risk, actually. And it's not just about the kind of mercury poisoning that, like, some bodybuilders get when they eat too much fish. I mean, even at a much lower le level of mercury, you get a massive increase in heart disease risk. Mm. Specifically, heart attacks, myocardial infarctions, raise as mercury levels go higher. The real risk of eating too much fish is heart attacks compared to fish oil. It's not a risk of getting mercury poisoning and losing your hair or dying or some very uh, traumatic event. You might get a heart attack and never know it had anything to do with you having slightly higher mercury levels. All right, so practical application, though. When you do eat salmon, does that, in your mind, count towards your fish oil quota to I mean, some extent? The only time it, it does is when I just don't have any fish oil on me and I can't buy any. That, oh, okay. that so I better to eat salmon than not have fish oil at all, but if you have fish oil supplement, use that instead. Yeah, but, but that I trust. Keep in mind that fish oil supplements are not created equal. Some are oxidized, shockingly, apparently, a lot of them. We found, uh, you know, I can recommend Omega Via, for example, the brand for EPA, or uh, Nordic Naturals for mixed uh, EPA and DHA. What, one of the problems in the supplement industry is that you get the cost of manufacturing down much lower when you manufacture large quantities. Mm. So some companies will manufacture huge amounts at once and then they'll sit for years. Yeah. And uh, that means that it's going to oxidize because if it's, it's not in a temperature controlled environment, it's not protected from UV light. So I've, I've looked into this before. And, you know, it's shown in studies with animals that f oxidized fish oil can actually be worse, cause a net negative on the inflammatory state in the body. Mm. So it is something to be concerned about. If you don't have a good fish oil supplement, then maybe that, that would be a good idea to eat fish in that scenario. But otherwise, I would not consider the fish a replacement for fish oil because I'm, I consume, like, when I do take fish oil, about 9 to 10 grams a day. I'm not going to get that easily from fish. To do so, I would have to eat a lot of fish. But I just wanted to say this so that people know. Fish is not like magical or special. It's not, there's nothing that unique about it. It's the fish oil that we really want from it. And it does have mercury in varying amounts. And if you really want to rely on fish, you'll eventually have a slightly higher mercury level, which may uh, predispose you to heart attacks. Be small and small friends of Freedom Pioneers of Human Evolution. Okay, so...